everybody. Welcome back to... <clears throat> Good day, everybody. Welcome back to Jocelyn Studios. I'm Jocelyn, and in today's video, we're going to be designing Jazza's new art corner. Right, so this is going to be a bit of a different video. I'm not going to show you any time lapse or talk about it while I'm doing it. I'm showing you the image now and then I'm just going to talk about why I chose what I chose and that way it'll be easier for Jazza. Stay tuned for intro bloopers at the end. This is my final design. It's not terribly in depth but it's some simple sketching and some colouring and I hope it does the job of illustrating what I'm trying to illustrate. Let's start with... let's start with over on the right, okay? So he said he wants, sorry, you, Jazza, said you wanted your easel somewhere in the room. So what I think would be best is for you to have the easel like, mounted on the wall. So if we look over here, these are like little hooks. So you would like lift the easel onto the wall. I've never done that before. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if any of this is even possible, but I think that would be really cool because then it wouldn't just be stood in the middle of the room. Also, as you said, you wanted some art on the wall of, I think it was your 3 million dots one. I'm not 100% sure if it's 3 million or not, but um, that and some art on the wall. And then the easel would almost be like part of the art in a way. Um, and also I thought I'd add some like pipes to give it that industrial sort of look Thought that would be quite cool. Here at the bottom, we've got some kind of storage cupboard for like little paints, pots, whatever you want. And then I thought you could put uh, books or any kind of anything you need on top of it there, or maybe some other little plants. We've got a nice, this would be like a stone plant pot. And then you've got bamboo, because I thought the bamboo would work quite nicely. And um, you can get a fake one or you can get a real one because they don't require, if I'm aware, they don't require too much maintenance. So I thought that would be quite jazzy um, <laughs> um right okay what should we look at next let's look at the little trolley because i think that would be the most like practical useful one so my mum used to have one of these but she used it in the kitchen so it's just i don't know if you have one already but it's just like a little trolley that you can like wheel around and move wherever you need it because i didn't know if you'd be standing or sitting or what so i thought something that you can move around and actually use would be really good so the top's like a metal and then you've got like wooden shelves to put stuff on it'll paint and paintbrush and what have you so i thought that would be quite nifty to be able to use uh let's turn that off back here we've got like a bench with one of those like leather I can't describe what it is. It's like, well, it, the top's leather, you sit on it, but it's like, it's got indents in it that look like little stars. I don't know if I'm describing that right. Uh, I might put a photo somewhere to <laughs> explain what I mean, but that's like a bench you can sit on for whatever reason. And it also just looks cool. And then the side would be like almost like metal grating. And then you've got like the metal shelves and maybe wood inserts to stop it, you know, collapsing. And again, just put storagey stuff on that or whatever you'd like. Um, then over here we've got some cogs <laughs> um more just a, a design feature um sorry an aesthetic feature rather than something practical but i thought it would be pretty cool if they actually like turned maybe I, I don't know what practical use that could have but i just thought that would be really cool and you could like splatter them with some paint so they just look a bit more arty um over here we've got my shelves which i'm quite proud of the idea from i remembered that you have um those pull down mechanisms for parts of your setup so i thought maybe these could cut hang here and you could like pull them up and down as you'd need them and if you hadn't noticed they're hanging from a tree so the tree is made out of like poles metal poles or copper is what i would use because I know copper's expensive, but you could get like copper imitation um, to look like the trunk. And then you could have like, I don't know what this would be, just a tree. Because I thought like you like Bob Ross and you could have like a happy little industrial tree. And then these could be hanging from it. And I thought that would be really cool. 
Um, the floor, I think you should paint the floor grey, because I think white, it looked a bit too like a schoolroom to me. Um, I mean, it's up to you, obviously, but I really liked the grey of this mat here, so I thought this could be grey as well. Um, yeah, that's it, really. Um, I know it's not, like, super detailed, but I thought people give you lots people will give you loads ideas so i thought maybe you could mash them together um but that's my little idea i hope you like it i hope it's at least somewhat helpful before we end this video with some funny bloopers i just want to say to you jazza thank you very much for doing what you do you inspired me to find my own drawing style in october of 2017 right before inktober thank you very much for that um, but you also inspired me to create this channel because it's brought me happiness and life and i've made friends through it and you were the spark that did that so thank you as always if you like this video please give it a like if you really liked it consider subscribing i'll see you in the next video and enjoy these bloopers of me attempting an australian accent bye Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day, everybody. Welcome back to Jocelyn Studios. Wow, I, can, I feel like I'm not talking properly. I'm Jocelyn, and in today's video, we're going to be deducted. <laughs> Welcome back to Jocelyn Studios. What? Jazza, if you're watching this, I just want to thank you for inspiring me to make my own channel. Why am I going northern? What the fuck?